This is a screencast about the Zicky framework. The topic is wiki syntax. Zicky is Emacs features for developers written in Ruby. Check out the website. You can find more screencasts there. You can join the Google group and you can follow the link to GitHub to install and check out the code. You can think of Zicky as executable plus wiki. What makes wikis unique, like Wikipedia and any of the other wikis out there, is that the content is just text, and there are wiki syntaxes for creating things like headings and bullet points and other things. This looks graphical because of the formatting, but it's not. It's all just text. You can copy and paste. You can move things around. You can do anything you can do to text. This is just text in a text file. The shark is a JPEG in a separate view in Emacs, so ignore it. Backing up for a second, the syntax for a heading is a pipe character, which is shift backslash, and then a space, and then some text. And the syntax for a bullet is just a dash, and then some text. If you want to indent the bullet, just add two spaces, or four spaces, etc. Notice you can still see the pipe character here if you look closely. Everything you see in these screencasts will be text in text files. Zicky also has wiki syntaxes for running executable things. The simplest example is exclamation mark at the beginning of the line to run a shell command. Type control enter to run it. Control enter is the generic keyboard shortcut for running something. Notice it insert the result underneath. You can go back up and do control enter again to collapse. If you want to run the command asynchronously, use a dollar sign instead of an exclamation. If you do a control enter on that, it runs it in an embedded console, which is a great built-in feature of Emacs. To see what's in a directory, there's no special wiki syntax required. You just type the name of the directory and do a control enter and it shows you a listing. You can open one of the files by doing control enter on it and edit the file. You can see what's in another directory recursively by doing a control enter on it. You can see what's in a file by doing a control eight control enter without opening it. That puts you in a recursive search where you can search to narrow down if you want. You can use the lines as a navigation element to jump to that line in the file. And of course, it's all just text, so you can remove the lines you don't want, etc. You can make a new file in a tree by just typing it in and opening it and saving text in it you can make a new directory similarly. These dashes and pluses at the beginning aren't required, but they look pretty and they also let you use the mouse to navigate to expand and collapse. To run Ruby code, you can type it in and press Control Enter. It's recognizing that that's Ruby code and inserting the result. You can run Ruby code that uses the Zicky API that will create a new view. You can run 
other languages like Python and JavaScript, I'll do something here that shows you that it's JavaScript rather than just printing something. And I'll intentionally leave off a parenthesis so you can see how it looks when it has an error. There's without an error. You can also run JavaScript in a browser if you're using Firefox. I'll do an alert here and then tab over to Firefox so you can see that it's running. There's the alert. You can type HTML and you can run that in Firefox as well. All of the file and directory wiki syntaxes you've seen so far work with remote directories as well as local directories. If you have your certificates set up correctly, you can just type something like this and it will show you what's in that remote directory. I'll narrow down to a test directory here and then show you that you can open the file and save it. You can also run a command just like you can locally and you can do a control A, control enter to see what's in the file and then use that as a navigation element if you want. You can search in directories by using this hash hash syntax. This will search for files that contain the string test. You can have multiple searches by just putting multiple lines underneath a directory. You can search by file name by using star star instead of hash hash. That searches for files that have the string hi. This will search for files that have the string file. Since this is all just text, you can obviously remove the lines you don't care about. You can make notes, fix this. Using various keyboard shortcuts that I'll go into in other screencasts, you can search in files. I'll do a uh, search in my Ruby notes for how to loop. Here's an example of looping in Ruby. Zaki makes extensive use of Emacs bookmarks. I'll show you an example of doing a search in the model directory for DEF space, which will give all the methods. You can use this as a navigation element. You can go to a, a line and copy it and then go back and enter it back in the tree or you can enter it on a blank line and that will make its own snippet that includes the path and the file. As I mentioned earlier, this is all taking place inside of text files, so you can save them for later, you can search in them, you can send them to friends that are working in the same project. Another interesting side effect is that you can use these directories you've built up to navigate other projects that are similar. Maybe you have a dev or a prod version. There are wiki syntaxes for Googling for something that'll open it in the web browser. You can also type in a URL and control enter will go to that URL. You can get the contents of a URL like so. Control enter will show you what's in the URL. You can also get sub URLs, so to speak, and show the contents. You can do a Wikipedia search for something that should bring up the Wikipedia page in the browser. You can invoke a model method on a 
Rails or Merb app with an embedded console behind the scenes that's invoking a model method. I can do the same thing in production if I set up a wiki syntax for that. That's calling it remotely on a production server. You can, in one line, do some of the things we were doing earlier. This will search for DEF space in this bookmark to find all the methods in the model directory. And it's pretty easy to define your own wiki syntax. This is going to be a really simple one that will say any line that starts with an H should run this code when you control enter on it. It's just going to insert a string here. So I'm going to define that and I'll have a line that starts with an H and I'll control enter and it will run that code.